What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today, I'm going to be showing off Pedro Torres' top 32 Zacian ADP list from the Malmo Regional Championships. And this list is really unique. It's got a whole bunch of text for the Obstagoon matchup. And I think that Pedro's list is really sweet. So I wanted to show it off. Not only does it have four copies of Custom Catcher in it, it's also got four copies of Pokemon Catcher. Great for Obstagoon, but also great for the Cincino Mill matchup. Now the problem when facing Obstagoon is that they will usually get their board state to be one lone Obstagoon using Obstruct. And of course, Obstruct prevents damage dealt by basic Pokemon, of which there are all basic Pokemon in this deck. So how do we beat an Obstagoon deck? And the answer is Mawile GX. Mawile GX has an ability Captivating Wink. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may have your opponent reveal their hand and put any number of basic Pokemon you find there onto their bench. So you get to take all of the basic Pokemon out of an Obstagoon player's hand and place them onto their bench, giving you more targets to use your catchers around. You can use Pokemon Catcher and Custom Catcher to bring up these targets on your opponent's bench once you use Captivating Wink and then take additional prizes thanks to Arceus and Dialga and Palkia's Altered Creation GX attack. Now, if you happen to whiff Pokemon on the first Captivating Wink, no worries. We've got three copies of Super Scoop Up in the deck, which are great not only for healing your Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia, but also for reusing Captivating Wink and Dedenne GX. So lots of uses here for the Super Scoop Ups, and I love the originality in this list. We saw Mawile GX featured in the second and third place lists from Malmo, and of course, toward winning the Malmo Regional Championships with Zacian ADP as well. So Zacian ADP, definitely a deck that is here to stay, and one of the most powerful decks in standard format, if not the best deck in standard format right now. And I really loved Pedro's list, so I wanted to give it a spin on a ladder and see how it performs in some gameplay. One of the most significant changes that we saw from the Malmo Regional Championships in the Zacian ADP decks was the increase in play of Energy Spinner. We were seeing less Guzma and Hala, less Tag Call Engine, more Cherish Balls, more Energy Spinner, more Basic Energy. And if you looked at Tord's list, he played four copies of Acrobike and really set out to turbo through his deck and draw more cards. He played two copies of Dedenne GX as well, as well as two Energy Spinner. And that's the common thing we have between Pedro's list here and Tord's list was the presence of Energy Spinner and four copies of Zacian V, which has become more and more popular in the Zacian decks. And the four copies of Zacian V really allows you to forego the Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia strategy altogether. If you wish, you can just aggress with the Zacian Vs very quickly, especially with all of the Dedenes and the Super Scoop Ups and things like that. We really have a lot of options. Another cool thing you could do with Super Scoop Up is use Stellar Wish multiple times. If you bring a Jirachi back to your hand, it can actually Stellar Wish twice in the same turn. It looks like we are playing against a Nuzzle deck. Have not seen that deck in a while, so I'm looking forward to this. We can Quick Ball away. Let's see. This is a really cool hand because we could Quick Ball away for an Arceus Dialga Palkia and then just day to day change. So I am looking forward to that. We can get this guy out and then we can Stellar Wish and we're going to switch into another Jirachi. We have actually got an Energy Spinner. So I can go get myself the Water Energy, which is the hardest energy to find in the deck. So we are seeing already the benefits of playing the Energy Spinner. It really combos well with Jirachi. So there's nothing not to love about that. I'm gonna switch into this Jirachi and then Stellar Wish again. And we've got an Escape Board and a Super Scoop Up. And the thing that I really like about this is we can try to hit this super scoop up, which we did, right? So we're just gonna bump that back to our hand, uh, place that Jirachi in the active, a skateboard on that Jirachi, and then I'm actually gonna be able to Stellar Wish again this turn with this Jirachi that came back to my hand. And we can see already how explosive a deck like this is capable of, uh, of being. And we've got another Stellar Wish and then an Intrepid Sword. And what a powerful turn one for us. We're just going to grab that switch pretty 
Easy grab there. And then Intrepid Sword and fill our hand up to three more cards. Find another copy of Metal Energy. We can see we're ready to alter creation next turn. I'm also ready to Brave Blade and Gust something if I want to, which just gives this deck so many options. And sure enough, we saw a Tapacoco V, so I'm I'm expecting to play against a Nuzzle Raichu deck, but you never know when you're out here on the ladder. There's Acro Bikes, there's Amolgas. I could really be up against anything here, so we'll have to see. Uh, they're using Nuzzle Gathering, and will I find a Pikachu here? We're going to see those start to get set up. Maybe just more Amolgas. And I think that... As far as the Nuzzle Gathering Raichu deck goes, it was a deck that was a lot of fun to play last format, but I think the omnipresence of Arceus, Dauga, and Palkia just makes this deck really tough to navigate in standard right now because of the fact that Arceus, Dauga, and Palkia just shortens the life of the game so much. You can use that Alter Creation GX turn two, and then you only need to take three knockouts. And it really puts this Nuzzle deck on a timer. We can see they are gonna get the turn one Snuggly Generator, but unfortunately they were a little bit greedy and decided to go for just one Pikachu, which gives me the option to just target that down and make it so that they can't ever get out two Pikachus at the same time since I play so much Gust in my deck. I'm gonna Stellar Wish, and really my hand is great, so I'm not terribly worried about playing any of these. With all of the Switch cards and all of the Jirachis I have in play, I'm gonna be able to do just about whatever I want to do. And the Super Scoop Ups are neat because I can also just use the ADP, and then if I want to, I can just scoop this thing right on out of harm's way which is super cool as well. Since we do play Shrine of Punishment, we are ticking away at our Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia's health every turn. And Super Scoop Up can give us an out to just get that card out of there. And then I really love, uh, I love flip cards. I mean, you guys know that from watching me deck build over the years. I am a big fan of Super Scoop Up, so I had to show off Pedro's list that not only plays Pokemon Catchers as a coin flip, but also super scoop ups and i think that uh, pedro does an excellent job of being innovative with his deck building bringing new ideas new concepts to the table so he is definitely a player to look out for if you haven't followed him on twitter or twitch make sure to do so uh, he is just a real class act and a fantastic friend as well so we see my opponent, I'm gonna start using that Nuzzle Gathering to get more Pokemon out of their deck, but next turn I can just gust up that Pikachu, assuming that I hit a heads on one of these Pokemon catchers, and we should be able to take out that Raichu. Assuming that my opponent does not come in and attack me this turn with Raichu, I don't expect them to. They really do want to perform as many Snuggly Generators as they can, and I think that usually two Snuggly Generators is about right before they start swinging with Raichu. And I think they are really going to be held back by the facts that they only have room for that one Raichu. Now, something to look out for, obviously, they can always pivot into the Reshiram and Zekrom Tag Team GX for a big one-hit knockout. So we do want to be a little bit wary of that. But we're going to go for Pokemon Catcher now and see if we can't bring up that Raichu. And then I think... Well, 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 uh, there we go. All right, so we got the Raichu, and then I'm thinking we're just going to use this and power up our other Zacian V here. I still have a couple of cards that I would like to use in my hand, so I'm not gonna reset my hand yet. And we're just gonna throw three Metal Energies onto our other Zacian here. So that we got two Zacians powered up. If this Arceus Dalga Palkia takes a hit, we'll just scoop it up out of harm's way and go from there. And I love how much gusting this deck has. We can really just make sure that we target down just about whatever we want on our opponent's side of the field. And it's gonna be that Pikachu every time. And I only have to take three knockouts to win the game. So that's one, I'll take out another Pikachu. And then so long as they can't clear their bench, I am just going to be bringing one of those out every single turn. So I think that the RCS Dalgo and Palkia has pretty much done its job at this point. So we're going to lay our 
metal frying pans down and see if I can't scoop this thing out of harm's way. So we're just gonna get that up out of the hands and then we can play the metal energy there and I'm probably just going to research all of these guys out of here. It's fine and I have the option to Stellar Wish for a double custom catcher combo if I find one custom catcher here, which I do. And then I am pretty confident just using Quick Ball, thin the deck a little bit more. And we've got the Oranguru now, so I can preserve those custom catchers as well. The Primate Wisdom ability is really strong when you're using Professor's Research with a lot of these RC Stalga Palkia decks are just leaning very heavily into the research engine now. We see I did get a Pokemon catcher, no double custom catcher play, but that's fine. This is our last Pokemon catcher. Can we hit it on that Pikachu? We can, so bring them on out. We've got double metal frying pan and just a phenomenal board position. And we can see my opponent's just gonna scoop it up. I mean, what a dominant performance by Pedro's Zacian ADP deck. That is just a blast to play and uh, so much access to the opponent's bench. And I think if you're playing against a, a Galarian Obstagoon deck, having that Mawile GX and the ability to reuse the Mawile GX should just about sure that matchup up. And it looks like we're playing against Tableman. So what is up to Pablo? If you have not checked out Pablo Meza's channel, he's got an excellent YouTube channel as well as a Twitch channel and is just a real class act and a great player as well. So really excited about this match and we'll see how it goes. I am going first. Unfortunately, I don't have a fantastic starting hand, but we do get a mulligan. So we'll take that. And this is looking like baby Blacephalon. So this could be a little bit tough. I saw that Stefan Ivanhoff was able to finish in the top eight of the Malmo Regional Championships as well with his Baby Blacephalon deck, a very unique take on uh, the Baby Blacephalon and uh, really only played three copies of Blacephalon, which was super innovative uh, because he was able to, uh, you know, kind of fill the rest of his deck, cards like Blacephalon, GX, and Cramorant to take additional prizes as well as Victini V. So really suboptimal start here from us. We're not gonna be getting the turn two altered creation GX and I don't think that there's any way to circumvent that. So we're just going to go with the frying pan energy and intrepid sword and we find two. So at the very least we are getting off to a pretty explosive start and then I do have a switch into Jirachi and Stellar Wish next turn. Now this Baby Blacephalon deck does play a pretty heavy amount of Pokemon GX. There's Blacephalon GX, there is Oracorio uh, GX, and there is uh, Cramorant V. There's a lot of different options to take multiple prize cards, so I'm not terribly concerned about launching Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia's GX attack this game. I think we're just gonna forego that. Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia gives up three prizes anyway, so we might as well just power up as many Zacians as we can and see if I can't take some bonus prizes on Pokemon GX or Pokemon V that uh, that Pablo puts into play for us. Now, I suspect that Pablo is gonna keep a very sparse board position here in the opening turns, just kind of jockey for position with Jirachi and then try to have an explosive turn where he takes a big knockout, puts down Oracorio GX, draws a ton of cards and goes from there. So we've got the switch into Jirachi and double custom catcher and a research, which is totally fine. I can just gust up this Jirachi with the escape board. That is somewhat, uh, somewhat disruptive. And then I think I am gonna save my Stellar Wish. So we are just going to bop that stadium real quick, go with the double custom catcher, sure, and a professor's research, trying to build up more Zacians. And at this point, we are not worried about Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia, I don't think, though I can potentially put an Arceus, Dalga, Palkia into play and threaten an Altered Creation GX to kind of expedite the game. Um, and that, that would be a valid option for us. So let's see what we got here. I do have an attack with Zacian 
and I do have Quick Ball as well. Let's Stellar Wish first so I can kind of get an idea of where we're going with this hand. I've got multiple Pokemon catchers and mm. another Metal Saucer. I feel like I'm probably going to want another Metal Saucer just in case the Saucian does go down. Uh, the Pokemon catchers are also valuable though, and I could use the Quick Ball to go get myself a Denny and Data Change, but I don't have a lot of Metal Energy right now in the discard pile, and I don't think that Zacian's going to be going down. So I do think that we're probably best off just going with a Pokemon Catcher just to have it. And then I think I am going to put this Arceus Dagapalkia down just so that I can threaten that next turn in case that becomes relevant for us. And then I do have the option to super scoop up if I decide that I don't want that, if I don't want to go for the Alter Creation GX, that's fine. But I think that that could be valuable for us if Pablo does not bench a lot of Pokemon for us to take double prizes on. If Pablo's gonna make me mow through Jirachis and really try to fix his hand, then instead of just knocking out Jirachis turn after turn, I could just go in and use the Arceus Dalgo Palkia. Now next turn, I do have Marnie, which is great. Marnie's gonna be very valuable against this Baby Blacephalon deck because we can limit their hand and make it so that they are, uh, yeah, limit their hand and make it so that they are uh, not able, hopefully, to find all of the fire energy that they need to take these knockouts. And we are seeing the Oracorio GX go down, the Baby Blacephalon is here as well. And if this Zacian does get KO'd this next turn, I can just quick ball for another Zacian myself and Metal Saucer, put the Metal Frying Pan on it and use Marnie and then just see how we do from there. Maybe I'll be able to quickly power up another Zacian and maybe take a knockout on uh, Oracorio or something like that. Though so knocking out the Blacephalon would be valuable to put me at four prizes remaining, which is certainly good. And I don't think that this RCS Dagopalkia is gonna be that much of a liability for me, considering that uh, Pablo here is still going to have to take three knockouts in order to win the game. So there's that first one, big play from Pablo with the Oracorio GX over there on the bench. So let's see if we can respond. Uh, he does have the Ultra Space in play now too. Let's see what we can do. So I think that we want to Cherish Ball, thin the deck, go get ourselves. I want a Marnie for sure. I want to see if maybe I can Pokemon catcher up that Oracorio, though that is a little bit greedy. I think we probably just want to take the knockout on the Blacephalon, though the Oracorio does give Pablo bonus prizes. So I think that we might just go for that Pokemon catcher, try to bring that up, and then Marnie. And what one thing I can actually do potentially is go for an Ultra Creation GX this next turn. And then if I could take three prizes on the Oracorio, then I'm on a one turn clock uh, where I'm able to win. So if we can Marnie him to four, that could be pretty powerful for us. So let's go get ourselves the Zacian. And Mawile GX also could be good in this matchup because we could look at his hand and bring down maybe Pokemon V, you know, if there's a Cram Ranch or something like that that he doesn't want to get rid of, we might have an option to be able to target that. Let's go here and then I think we want to, I could Stellar Wish first and then try to super scoop up and go for another one. So I think I'm gonna try and do that. We do find a Metal Saucer, so I'm on my way to powering up this Zacian. And then I am gonna attempt the super scoop up on the Jirachi. And I really kind of like this play, uh, just as a, you know, might as well shoot your shot. And we do have an attack with Zacian. I can either take the KO with Zacian on the Oracorio Hope that Pablo does not have a response. Uh, I also get to take a look at the hand, which is pretty cool. And I can put any Pokemon I find there down. And I think that this could be a valuable time to do that. So let's take a look. And we've got a Quick Ball, a Switch, and a Beast Bringer. So I'm pretty confident that if I just take this knockout with Zossie in this turn, that Pablo is not going to be able to respond 
with a Blacephalon. Granted, he does get, um, I guess, one Stellar Wish with the Jirachi to try and to find a card, uh, but he's going to need five energies in order to make this work. And the Oracorio going down would be very helpful. And also now I know that if I do try to Altered Creation in front of this Oracorio, then he does have the switch to go into Jirachi and potentially find some more pieces. So I think it's probably in our best interest to just knock this out now. We're going to bump this Shrine and then get the energy that I need in order to take the KO with Zacian this turn. So that Marnie proving to be very powerful for us, really limiting... Pablo's hand, and then I also really love the fact that the Mawile just gives us that uh, that peek at Pablo's hand to be able to try and uh, you know try and make our best bet as to what the next play should be. So three prizes left to take, pretty tough for us, but Pablo does have to take two more KOs in order to win, and this matchup is pretty tough. Um, typically, just because of the fact that Baby Blacephalon does trade very well with all of um, does trade very well with all of our attackers. Now the metal frying pans are proving to be pretty useful here, and we see Pablo just using the quick balls, thinning his hand, thinning his hand. And he's got a Dedenne GX. Now I did not know that this list plays Dedenne GX, so I could get pretty punished here for not knowing that. And I know that this deck played a lot of abilities. I didn't know it played Dedenne. I thought it just played the Oracorio GX was his only quick ball out to draw. So I thought we were safe there, but the Dedenne is gonna be very powerful. And we see that they've got the fire crystals and they are gonna be able to take this knockout. So I've got another Marnie. And the hope is with no Oracorio GX or anything like that, maybe Pablo has a tough time drawing out, but we see here uh, that Absol is going to be very tough for us to deal with as well because we've got our Stellar Wish Jirachi and Cramorant right there uh, saying that, okay, you know, Pablo can win the game on a spit shot to my Mawile GX who now has 160 HP left. So that is pretty intimidating, I'm not going to lie. So let's see what we can do about this. Now, if I can pull off an Alter Creation GX, I can Gust and win on a Dedenne but I am gonna have to finesse a little bit in order to pull that off. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to Energy Spinner and grab the Metal Energy, and then I would like to limit Pablo's hand. So I think that we have to Marnie, and I can put the Zossian down. I don't think that there's any real harm in doing that. Uh, the Zossian does go to the bottom of my deck though, to be fair. So it's not exactly getting in the way and we could potentially use that space. So I think I am going to just use the Marnie and then we've got five cards. I can Stellar Wish. I don't have a Gust right now, but I can't Quick Ball for Dedenne and Dede Change and try to disrupt Pablo's setup right now. We need to disrupt and I need to Gust. So that's gonna be our main goal. So let's see if we can get this to Den AGX. I would like to Gust. And then I am going to Stellar Wish just to see if I can get anything else. So we are going to go for the double super scoop up to try and bring this Jirachi up out of the active. So we are going to hit that. And then I am going to go into my RCS Dago Palkia and we're going to hope to hit a Gust. Now there's not really any point, I don't think, in using, you know, the second Super Scoop up. We would try to pick up another Mawile or something like that. I'll put the Escape Board onto the Arceus Tau Palkia, I guess, just in case. I mean, it doesn't really make any sense on the Jirachi, but Jirachi's probably okay. And then we're just going to Diddy Change. Now, I'm looking for a double Custom Catcher or a Pokemon Catcher or something to try and just catch Pablo slipping a little bit. Now we're pretty close here. Uh, I can go Pokemon Catcher. I think the Dedenne is the optimal target for us, but then I'm going to have to find Gust again the following turn to be able to win. So we either just go right here and say, okay, hopefully Pablo does not find the five energy he needs to win, or I go for the Pokemon Catcher. I think the Pokemon Catcher is fine. We miss it. And then I don't think it's worth switching or anything like that. We can put the Oranguru down 
and just see if I am able to find another card off the top, maybe another custom catcher, find Zacian. And here we just have to more or less go for it. Ultra Creation GX, cross our fingers, hope Pablo does not have five energy to end this game and I can win next turn potentially on the Dedenne if we live through the turn. But we do have to live through the turn. Pablo has five energy, it's game over. There's Fire Crystal, so that's three of them right there. And I have to imagine Welder 2 onto the Cramorant. This is just game. He could go with the uh, with the spit shot and well played to Pablo. Wow. And the Cramorant finishing the game off on my Wild GX. And uh, that was pretty impressive. And I think that Stefan's new Blacephalon list with the Cramorant V definitely really interesting that matchup is tough like uh like i said because of the prize trade and we didn't unfortunately we were not able to start off with a quick rcs dauga and palkia so i kind of had to lead the way with zacian and then pablo got off to a phenomenal start so we're gonna play one more game with pedro's catcher zacian adp deck and see if we can uh, make this a winning record on the video we're going first but generally speaking, I think that this list draws very well. I love all the gust options that we have. And I think that uh, more and more lists are going to start to kind of evolve in this direction, the same direction of towards winning list. He opted for the acro bikes in his particular version, this version going for additional gust in Pokemon catchers. But I think that this kind of turbo style of Zacian ADP featuring uh, no tag call engine is definitely the new future for this deck. Now, no energy to start things off, but we do have Stellar Wish Jirachi, so we can potentially find ourselves a energy spinner. And it looks like we are playing against a Goons deck, so a perfect opportunity for us to hopefully show off the Mawile GX. And let's just go in with Stellar Wish first. We find ourselves a Marnie and a Custom Catcher. So I think Marnie seems okay. The rest of this hand is definitely tough, a tough start for us, but it's okay. We'll just go here with Intrepid Sword and hopefully hit some metal energies. Now, uh, these lists are not playing a lot of metal energies, to be fair. I think that there are only eight metal energy in this list, and the idea is maybe that the energy spinner can help really drag those out of the deck but this has been a pretty lackluster start for us we are getting turn one marnie which is just lit so that's fine and i didn't put down all my other pokemon because i want to keep them from taking pings from zigzagoons if at all possible if they load up all their damage onto one zacian that's more or less okay but i don't want to just give them a feast of pokemon there to uh to target down so let's see, we do need to find ourselves some action here. So let's Stellar Wish, we've got an Energy Spinner and a Quick Ball. And I think we actually prefer the Quick Ball because we want to get ourselves the Arceus Dauga and Palkia. It's gonna be very important. And then we will grab that. I don't need this Pokemon Catcher quite yet, but I think that we are going to research. In fact, there's not really anything here that I would like to gust up. So let's just go here. Get the Arceus Dagapalkia, thin the deck, and then we are going to go into this Jirachi and Stellar Wish after the research. So we'll put that down. Pokemon Catcher, see if we bring up this Zigzagoon. No. And we will research through the hand, finding ourselves not much, but we do have Cherish Ball to get ourselves maybe this other Arceus Dagapalkia out of the deck. And I can Quick Ball one more time as well. Thin that out, get ourselves just something else, maybe a Zacian. Two scoop ups. I already have Zacian in my hand. Let's get the Oranguru if I have it. I don't. Let's get the Mawile, I guess. That's fine. And we could just utilize that. Uh, maybe not this turn, but in future turns. And I really do need to find myself an energy. Uh, it's been very dry out here. I could go for the Dedenne GX if comes down to that, I definitely need to get an energy attachment this turn. That is not really negotiable. So, see, this this Drachi has already Stellar Wished, but this one has not, so we can see if we hit our Super Scoop up and maybe get to Stellar Wish again. Wow, 
the hacks. There we go. So I can Stellar Wish one more time. Let's Quick Ball and get ourselves, I think, a Dedenne GX because I have to go for it. I have to thin my deck. I have to get an energy drop this turn. And we'll Stellar, stellar Wish. Find ourselves the Switch and Custom Catchers. So Switch is okay because I can actually Stellar Wish again this turn, which is crazy, and just hope to find myself that energy. And if I find the energy spinner here, then I don't have to Diddy change this hand, which I would rather not. But we do not. So, again, we are kind of stuck. And I think that we can check the hand with Maw Wild GX. Um, but really, I don't want to waste all of these Super Scoop Ups either. So I think that we just uh, Intrepid Sword. And I'm going to be a little bit patient because I don't want to just throw absolutely everything down trying to get this energy attachment. Though it has been very tough for us to get that energy drop. As you see, I've Stellar Wished many, many, many times trying to get it. Uh, we did have the energy spinner on that one Stellar Wish, but I took the Quick Ball instead. And now, uh, in hindsight, you know, it, uh, it feels bad, but I feel like it was correct to take the quick ball there because getting the energy without the quick ball doesn't really make any sense either because I'm trying to get that energy drop onto Arceus, Dioga, and Palkia, not on Zacian. But that is who we ended up with. So let's see. I mean, really, the Mawile only needs to work once, and it only really needs to work at the end of the game. So long as we can get an Altered Creation GX pulled off um, at some point, then I should be able to take between two and four prizes without using the Mawile, and the Mawile should come down just at the end of the game to get me that final prize. I'll wait till my opponent's hand is pretty large and try to go from there. So let's see, they do have Zigzagoon and Linu now with an energy on and the Stealthy Hood. So the Stealthy Hood is to prevent um, the Fion from pushing it out of the active, which is very good. I am trying to save as many of my Gust cards as I can as well, because we do really need those. So let's just Stellar Wish. And now we've got ourselves the Energy Spinner, which is fine. So I can get myself the Water Energy and just get that dropped on to the Arceus Dialgon Palkia, which does get us one step closer to where we need to be. And then I can put that Metal Frying Pan on the Zacian and just keep us drawing here through the next couple of turns. And now we have found our energy, which is very good. Now I am low on switch cards, only one switch left in the deck, but I do have a couple of escape boards, which hopefully we can find. This is also my final Marnie and I can use, or no, I, I have two Marnies left in the deck. I have not used one yet, but uh, there are only two Marnies. So that is something to think about too. Unidentified fossil, I'm not exactly sure where my opponent is going with that, but that is certainly interesting as well um, because I have not really seen too many fossil decks. Now, it's possible that there's an Aerodactyl GX in the deck. That is a pretty formidable wall, so that's something to think about too. And I think we're just going to go with our own Marnie here. I don't want to give them the shrine because that'll just get damage ticks onto my Arceus Dalgopalkia, so we're just going to Marnie ourselves to five, do find an energy, but I need the switch or the escape board. So we'll thin first, get the metal out of the deck, and we'll see if we can actually use our altered creation GX. It appears as if we cannot. So two metal saucers, research metal frying pan, research seems like the strongest card, but I do not have any metal energy in the discard pile yet. So we're gonna go here and intrepid sword again. Super scoop up is fine. And at this point, I don't even think that we'll have to use the Mawile GX because there are just so many Pokemon on my opponent's side of the field. And I'm very curious to see what this fossil turns into because uh, that is something that I have not seen yet in any of these Obstagoon decks, which are increasing in popularity lately. Uh, Obstagoon uh, winning that special event recently really catapulted this into the mainstream of decks and it was uh definitely no wonder to see this deck tacked against so heavily at the malmo regional championships so i could super scoop up um to potentially get myself into 
this. Uh, we find the skateboard though, so that's good because I don't really feel like using Super Scoop Up, so that's that's nice. And then we're gonna go into our RCS Dalgapalkia. And where this energy goes, I probably, the safest bet is to put it onto the active, I think, because then I can just use Ultimate Ray after the Alter Creation GX, but I'm just gonna pinch it for now, just in case something gnarly happens and there's like uh, an Obstagoon, another Zigzagoon, and then, a Yveltal GX just knocks out my RCS Dalgapalkia. I don't really want to put all of my energy onto this thing and then have that happen. I would like to have an energy to drop onto my Zacian. That being said, if my RCS Dalgapalkia does not get knocked out this turn, I'm not really trying to, uh, you know, have to research away all of these metal saucers in order to go ahead. Uh, so we see that they do have super scoop ups in their deck, which is interesting. And then they're going to Marnie me. And I believe that is their fourth Marnie. There have been just a lot of Marnies played this set, which is, uh, which is really funny. And I do have a metal energy and a Pokemon catcher. So I have the option to potentially bring up that Galarian Linoon over there and knock it out. We'll see if we hit it. And we do. So I'm thinking that the Galarian Linoon is the best target for us. And then we can actually just ultimate ray and take our two prizes on it and put our remaining two metal energy in deck onto that benched Zacian V. And we're seeing I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've prized, I think, two metal energy, which would explain why I had, uh, and a water energy. So I prized three energy this game, which would explain why we had a little bit of a tough time finding our energy early on. That being said, these modern Zacian ADP lists, not super heavy on the energy. And it looks like my opponent is going for that shake and bake strategy to really limit their hand down to just the Galarian Zigzagoon and then are going to Rosa. So they're going for it now. This is the, you know, pair your hand down and just obstruct forever strategy. Now I need them to have uh, a little bit of a bigger hand, so I'm confident using Mawile to bring something down into play. Now, this unidentified fossil does give up a prize if it gets KO'd. So that is, uh, that is something that I could do, but they're just gonna discard that from play. So now they have the perfect Obstagoon strategy, right? They're just going to obstruct from here on out. Now, I'm not ready to use to the uh, I'm not ready to use the guy yet. I'm not ready to use the Maw Wild GX. So we're going to wait a minute on that. But I am going to potentially go get myself another Zacian. And then we've got to wait for their hand to be a little bit bigger. So using Marnie does increase their hand size. And I've only got two opportunities to use the Maw Wild. So I do have to be careful um, because I have used a lot of my... I can attach this probably to the active is fine. And then we're just going to Marnie. Bring my opponent up to a four card hand. And we just want their hand to grow in size. So I can take one more hit here, but I think I am just going to Intrepid Sword and kind of draw out my own deck a little bit while I wait. And wait for the Maw Wild GX, because I do need to hit two Pokemon off of uh, Maw Wild GX. So that is, uh, well, two Pokemon, that or I need to be able to super scoop it up with my final super scoop up in the deck. So let's just, uh, yeah, I wanna wait another couple turns. I'm just gonna ultimate Ray and wait, see what happens, see what they do. I'll probably go in when they have like a six or seven card deck and can see they're giving me the well played already. So I am just going to, I'm gonna let this Arceus Dagopalkia get KO'd because that way I am able to, and I think I forgot to Intrepid Sword the turn previous, uh, because that way they're gonna have an even bigger hand. So we're just going to um, just kind of keep swinging here by hitting with the ultimate ray. You know, Maybe they think that I don't have any answer at all to what they're doing. But at this point, they're gonna have a pretty sizable hand taking those three prizes there and they can't really control what is in those three prizes. So I've got some opportunities to gust now and I've got a stellar wish, which I could potentially hit another custom catcher and get myself that guaranteed gust. So we see now the Mawile GX is going to be playing a role in this game. 
They take their three prizes, and, and the cool thing about My Wild GX is the Captivating Wink gets as many Pokemon as we want from the hand. So as many as we find, we can take. So this could be the turn. Uh, granted, they are down, I think, all of their Marnies. One, two, three, four. So I could potentially wait one more turn, but at this point, uh, I do want to just kind of make my move. I've got the double custom catcher, so we can certainly make it happen. Let's see, do we find any Pokemon with Captivating Wink? Uh, oh yes, we do. In fact, we find Yveltal GX and we find a Jirachi. So I can double custom catcher up the Yveltal GX and we get to take a knockout here. And then I've got game on that Jirachi next turn. So, I mean, how amazing is that? The Captivating Wink getting us this three prize swing with the Yveltal GX on Zacian V. And they gave me the well played. They gave me the well played. Insane. Not well played. GG's. No, not GG's. It is still a game. We've got uh, one Pokemon here over on my opponent's bench. And unless they go Verizian GX and just whisk that Jirachi out of play then it uh, looks like they're going for the super scoop up. If they hit it, then I need to hit my own super scoop up in order to have the option to stay in this game. And they're telling me, well played. Oh my goodness. And uh, then they discard it out of their hand. Okay, so that's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. So they discarded it. They have no other Pokemon in their hand at this point. Uh, I am going to just wait another couple of turns and hope that eventually they draw into another Pokemon. Um, so we are just going to pass, and I'm gonna pass a couple of turns here. They're not doing a lot of damage, only 70 damage per turn with the Obstruct. So that was a very strong turn for the Mawal, but uh, we do have to get a little bit lucky in order to pull out of this one. So let's see, because I did have to really, uh, really was having a rough time setting up and used a couple of super scoop ups, just trying to find those energy for my guys. So let's switch into Jirachi here. And um, I am going to eventually start giving up some prizes. And by giving up a prize, then we are putting ourselves in a situation where they're gonna have as big of a hand as possible. So I think first we wanna give up, you know, we wanna give up a two prizer, not a one prizer, and we want to give up, um, we wanna give up probably one of these Zacians here, but we want to give them as much time as possible to really draw out. And it looks like they are gonna start quick balling away, so that's, uh, that's definitely a little bit tough and we might have to just get lucky there off of the two prizes that my opponent is going to take. So we'll see if this works out. I do still have to flip heads. Um, how many quick balls do they have left? Because that is being very annoying. They know what my strategy is now. They do have two quick balls left in the deck. So we're kind of just hoping that they don't have it. And I think that we should go into, see, I could retreat into one more Zacian and get a few more turns of top decking here, which I think is fine. But granted, I don't want to deck out. So if I retreat this, I will retreat one energy off of it. And then they hit three times into my Zacian V, and they have to obstruct every turn. They hit three times into my Zacian V, that gives them a plus three hand. So we're gonna retreat here and just pass. And the hope is that they don't have cards to be able to get basics out of their hand. Now they are thinking about this hand, so let's see. They are getting, uh, thinning their deck a little bit, using Evolution Incense, and then Dangerous Drill to discard the frying pan. That's fine. Uh, I'm actually pleased that they use Dangerous Drill to dis discard the evolution Pokemon and not uh, a basic Pokemon that they might have. So we are gonna wait a couple more turns and then I have to go Mawile GX, hopefully on a flip and get it. 
So let's see if we're able to make this work. Now, my opponents having the quick balls has been very good. Uh, they are also very hip to what my strategy is, trying to use the Mawile GX. So they have definitely been circumventing that. And let's see, hopefully we can find a Pokemon here. Uh, this is the turn. I have to make it happen now. So we're going to go for the Super Scoop Up on the Mawile GX. And we hit it. All right, big wink here. Can we get it? And there is no Pokemon. So unfortunate. So my opponent, sitting on the Quick Ball too, they had the option. They also had the Cynthia uh, to be able to potentially get that out of their hand. And now it is just GG's. I've got no other way to bring a Pokemon down into play. So well played to my opponent. And that, uh, that was really good. I mean, the Mawile was great there. The Super Scoop Ups were super insane. You saw that the... Uh, the Mawile GX worked. I got two Pokemon on the turn that I used it, but uh, the Super Scoop Up, being able to Rosa and Super Scoop Up, that was just really, really tough for me. And then as soon as they Super Scoop Up that Pokemon, they put it back into the discard with Quick Ball. So they were really able to make good use of those. And uh, I think that match just came down to a coin flip on that Super Scoop Up, which made it a really tight match for sure. And that's it for Pedro's Zacian ADP deck featuring Mawile GX and eight Gust cards. A really cool list. Definitely suggest giving it a try. And I think that the Mawile GX is a very cool option to be able to combat those Obstagoon decks. However, we saw in that last game, the Obstagoon decks are advancing. I mean, playing cards like Super Scoop Up and Dangerous Drill to be able to discard basics from the hand to combat the Mawile GX asks, you know, it kind of begs us to ask the question, is Mawile GX going to be enough for the Zacian decks to be able to compete with Galarian Obstagoon, or are we going to actually have to concede and start playing Evolution cards in the deck? Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out FullGripGames.com for all your Pokemon trading card game singles, as well as FullGripCodes.com for instant PTCGO code delivery. Make sure to give my Twitch channel a follow as well, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where we stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. Y'all have a good one. Peace.